Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hi everybody, how you doing? Hey, welcome to IGS. Words of life messages. Thank each and every one of you for taking your time out uh, today to, to join us. I uh, I thank God for each and every one of you. Uh, today I am uh, give God the glory for it everything that he has done in, in my life and in the life of uh, my ministry I uh, thank God for not only my, my music ministry but I thank God for uh, my ministerial calling as well have you ever went to a restaurant ate some bad food and later on it made you sick the pain can be very uncomfortable the same thing happens when you eat from the table of another ministry it's very important that you watch what you digest from my experiences going to a restaurant and my wife working at one there is people who I can eat from and those I wonder why they even are in the kitchen it only takes seconds for someone to feed something in your life but it will take forever for the shepherd to get the mess out that you digested so that you won't be spiritually constipated How can you be spiritually constipated? By putting so much in you. Good word, bad word, and it has no way of flushing itself out. So that you can pass it on. It's all stuck up inside you. It can't you can't go nowhere. And it's like a knot. A very uncomfortable pain very uncomfortable imagine being spiritually constipated mm. Romans 16 17 18 says now I beseech you brethren mark them by which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine from which you've learned and avoid them so those, those to all those apostles out there, those, those out there who are out there, you know, trying to take other pastors' flock. The word says, "Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them, for they are such serve not our Lord." Savior Jesus Christ but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple you're out for your own affairs and your the business that you're doing is not of God so to let th those who are babes in Christ I I'm here to let you know though uh, Romans 16 17 17 through 18 now I beseech you brethren Mark them by which the uh, causes division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you've learned and avoid them. So pastors come up and start you know, trying to take you out from from uh, the mi the ministry that you're familiar with. Stay away from them. Because they all, all they're about is trying to tear another person's ministry down. And that is not of God. We have to be aware. That not every person with rev, pastor, etc. is for the body of Christ. Some come with their own self-serving agendas. They see you coming with all your drama and pain 
and start planting seeds of discord in your spirit. Watch what you digest. Watch you digest, please. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive they're waiting they're looking out there for you they're looking out there they're trying to find you they 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 out there under under apostleship they out there under bishops you know evangelists you know end time apostles they out there trying to grab you and you got to be aware of what they speak into your life watch what you digest they're crafty they smooth talkers they start talking about what they with the, what their ministry uh ministry is and what they're going to do in the future and with what you have a uh, what big play that you have in their ministry believe me i've been there i didn't hurt at all believe me there's there's some people that i wish i had never dealt with in my life but I'm telling you, the, the word says of all them. Ephesians, that's from me, uh, Ephesians 4 and 14. Watch out for the prophecies people throw your way. Be careful that you don't take the prophecies and do them out of season, in turn causing heartache and pain in your life. Just because the pastor says something is going someone is going to get a new car doesn't mean you have to go out of season and mess around and get the get the car repo but do it in season watch out for folks who who are just out there to make name for themselves and, and just to say that he uh, was prophetic and you get, prophetic and you get in the car when he was actually pathetic final words babe in Christ stay close to God listen to the instructions of your shepherd he or she is responsible for the feeding and the and the true word of God take heed and listen to the counsel of your leader Hebrews 13 and 17 obey him that have rule over you and submit bad word submit bad word the word submit Submit yourselves, for they watch over your souls, as they must give an account. Give an account. Bishops, evangelists, apostles, end time apostles, whoever you are. If these people go astray, you're going to be held responsible. The word says it. For they watch over your souls. For as they must give an account, that as they must do it with joy and not grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Watch what you digest. Make sure whatever you put in you lines up with the word of God. Remember, when, when people start preaching to you, take notes. Go back. Re go back and, and and make sure that the word is the true word of God and not something that is just made up out the blue the Bi the Bible says in in second Timothy 2 and 15 study to show thyself approved a workman that needeth not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth S study the, the reason for studying is to make sure that you don't get swindled by every wind of doctrine that comes your way watch what you digest be blessed